Hello, everybody, and thanks for tuning in. Today's episode is inspired by a live interview that I saw recently um, on Instagram that Peter Markham had, and he gave his list, a personal curated list of his top five living directors, and I wanted to go ahead and introduce them to you. So without further ado, here's a quick ad, and then we'll get right into it. Awesome. Okay. So starting off, first is Lynn Ramsey. Uh, She was the director for You Were Never Really Here and other films such as We Need to Talk About Kevin. Um, I saw You Were Never Really Here and you could see the inspirations of Martin Scorsese and Taxi Driver, you know. Um, But again, a really a great role for Joaquin Phoenix. I thought it was fantastic. Um, it was very, um, what if I remember, it was very kind of, it would cut away from the action, you know. That was one thing I was kind of disappointed in. <laughs> um, I wanted to see uh, more of the brutality. Um, but nonetheless, that was a specific choice, you know, that was made to not show it. So um, regardless, if I want more or not, there was a choice. And so I like it. Um, Another director, number two, I suppose, and I doubt these are in any sort of order. Um, And I'm sorry if I mispronounce any names as well. Uh, Not very good at names, but anyway. Number two, uh, Lucretia Martel. Um, She did films La Cienega and The Headless Woman and Zama. Um, Personally, I have never seen any of these films. And... They are on my list now of films to watch because of theater, because of this list anyway. And I'm wanting to mention them to you because, hey, why not? You know, you watch them as well. Um, Number three in a list that doesn't matter in in the numbers that they're ordered in, (laughs) Barry Jenkins. Um, And, of course, he did Moonlight. He did If Beale Street Could Talk. And he also did a film called Medicine for Melancholy. Um, Now, I saw Moonlight and If Beale Street Could Talk. And it's very clear that his theme, you know, is very relationship driven. It's very interpersonal and, and, you know, it shows connectedness between humans. I kind of actually, I really enjoy his view of uh, humanity. I think even Peter mentioned that, you know, he said he, he appreciates his view of the world and, uh, and uh, human relationships for that matter. So another director he mentioned is Sofia Coppola. Now, she did films, uh, Marie Antoinette, uh, The Beguiled, I believe it's called, and Lost in Translation. Um, Obviously, we know her dad, but she is also, you know, a very talented director herself. So uh, I would encourage you all to look at these films, and I'm encouraging myself as well because I have not seen any of her films. And so I'm along the ride with you guys in films that I need to catch up on. Um, and last but not least of the top five, uh, living directors Peter mentioned is Michael Haneke, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, he did a film called Cash, the White Ribbon, and also a film called The Piano Teacher. I think I have seen, seen, or I think I have seen scenes. Yeah, there you go. Uh, in the film, The Piano Teacher, um, in class back when I was going to, back when I was a youngin going to film school but uh it is you know i think uh i've forgotten about it so yeah but anyway uh, out of this whole list i think uh my favorite director is barry drink uh, barry jenkins um his moonlight you know was a very uh moonlight is probably my favorite film out of the mentioned um but yeah so Again, and this is just Peter's list of living directors, there is another list of top five directors of all time, and that will be in a different episode. So, and that's it for this episode, guys. I ain't trying to keep you here all day. I ain't trying to do, you know, all this stuff. Y'all go out, and even though you ain't doing nothing right now, y'all just watch these films, you know. So I'm done keeping you up, so... You guys have a good one. Watch these films. Again, real quick, Lynn Ramsey, Lucretia Martel, uh, Barry Jenkins, Sofia Coppola, and Michael Haneke. Um, 
top five living directors list curated by Peter Markham. So again, you guys have a great day and see you on the next episode.